Hello, this is Adam with Green Machine. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a very quick recoil. This is on a Briggs overhead valve uh, engine right here. All I'm going to be doing is pulling the rope out and putting the new one in, but I'm going to be dodging some things. You got three bolts on the top that have to be removed, and you have the gas tank that has to be pulled back, and then you have to remove the shroud, and that's another four bolts. Doing it this way that I'm going to show you is going to relieve you of being having to take all that off and save a lot of time. First thing that I've done is I've put a clamp on the brake bar here and next thing that I'm going to be doing is pulling this old rope out and replacing it with the new. I always cut a standard eight feet of rope. I already have my handle attached and I have a flathead screwdriver here. Uh, you'll see why so that I can place it in there. I'm going to pull this out as far as it will go here. I'm just wrapping it around my hand. All right, we've gone as far as we can go and you can see that the knot is right there inside. And what I'm gonna do is take my needle nose and pull that out. But before I do that, I'm gonna stick a flathead down inside to hold this in place. Now if my camera can stay here, stick it right there, all right, now take my needle nose pliers behind me, and you got to use a little bit of force, because what you're going to be doing is getting inside here to grab that knot, and um, it's easier if you pry this open just a little bit. Uh, the metal can be opened and then you can put that back in place when you're done with it. But take your needle nose, pinch really hard, twist as you go. Alright, got my knot, and pull out. Okay, now I'm going to stick my new one inside here, and it has to be lined up. If you can see, right there is where my rope's going to be coming out, and then I'm going to push it in through the opening here. Now you have to make sure that it goes, it's got to be perfectly lined up. Slipping a little bit. I usually watch to make sure the, the hook on mine. It's not. It's never going to be perfect. It's going to take you a few tries, and it's a little bit more difficult when you have the camera in hand. But yes, we have it. All right, and then go in, grab that. You're going to make a knot in it. I do a little bit more than that because I put one more twist than necessary, but um. It's just so that it doesn't slip back through. I have a much better odds that way. So there's my knot. It's ready. And I'm going to pull it back inside. And then once it's in there, pull real tight to tighten my knot. You can go ahead and you can take the metal that's been bent, relieve that. Okay, now on my handle, put this at the top here, and bam, got that, and then twist, bam, alright, now here's the magic, let her rip. And we've got a new rope in here. This can only be done if you have uh, just barely cut your rope or um, somehow it's been damaged and, and now you have your new rope inside here. It makes it a whole lot easier this way. You can do it in maybe a third of the time that you would in having to take off the gas tank here in the back and the shroud in the front. And uh, I hope that helps you today. Have a great one.